friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe management of this uveitic cataract there is a membrane which covers the pupil 360 degree this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratom there is some oozing of blood because the incision has included some capillaries healing is much better and much stronger if you include some capillaries in the incisions this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away another side port at around 8 o'clock same distance away on the right side of the main incision and now my plan is to stain the uh, capsule uh, to stain the capsule i have to go behind the iris if i can find some entry through this membrane somewhere but i cannot find any entry behind the iris the membrane is covering the pupil and there is no gap and now um uh this is adrenaline though it will not cause any effect and now the dye is washed out now 2% aspmc is used to fill up the anterior chamber then i take the capsular axis forceps hold this membrane and pull it and it comes out nicely it came out and now the size of the pupil is about 2.5 mm the inject an air bubble my plan is now to go behind the iris with dye inject some dye under the iris so that it helps during capsular excess so i've injected a little bit of dye under the iris i wash out this dye and now how to expand this pupil the pupil expansion device that i usually use is bhex pupil expansion device bhex means bhattacharji hexagonal invented by dr subhan bhattacharji of kolkata my close friend and it is a hexagonal device very flexible now to use this device in this case i am going to stress the pupil and i am using this oi hook the prongs of this oi hook are blunt so they will not cause any injury to the anterior capsule very mild stress is used so that the sphincter tear is not much there is some stress but it will not cause lot of tear of the sphincter very mild stress this is the b hex ring hexagonal device very thin and now b hex has come out with other designs for manual small incision cataract surgeries and for feco also with a larger expansion of pupil i'm going to use that uh in future in the coming days and the bhex as you see it has got flanges and notches three flanges has gone under the iris and three flanges are above the flanges with tabs are under the iris the medial tab is held and it is placed using a 23 gb hex forceps now i have uh, cut open the anterior capsule at the center holding a tag and yes going anti clockwise all around to complete the rexus and it is done now the cataract is in is grade 1 the patient was not able to see because of the opaque pupillary membrane so we cannot just remove the membrane 
as we remove the membrane there is chance of lens injury so planning to remove the lens and place a intraocular lens hydrodissection has been done this is a nucleus sustainer used for nucleus cutting by by a pre chopper trying to rotate the nucleus but it was a resisting movement and now i take the feco hand piece and go into the anterior chamber and trying to aspirate the you know lens matter but unless you use little bit of power about 20% ultrasound energy it's difficult it is very slow so using some power and very quickly it is aspirated there some cavitation bubbles and now some cortex is remaining inject air bubble and i'm going to use a 23 gauze simco cannula to remove the cortex yes go through the main wound and remove this cortical fibers and cortical clean up is done and now the anterior chamber and the capsular bag is filled up with 2% spmc and then the intraocular lens goes the lens is injected this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens see on haptic the drilling haptic has not gone in the bag and you have to be very careful should not press the bhx and very carefully it is placed in the bag by you know by the left hand using the usual chopper visco again and the bhx is removed any flange over the iris is pulled centrally and then go peripherally and the whole thing comes in front of the iris hold at any place and pull it out gently and now clean the cortex clean all around and now the visco has been removed by part of the visco has been removed by the simco cannula now i use the bimanual ia the irrigation goes behind the lens irrigates the capsular bag irrigates the space between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule so that no no visco gets tra trapped there all the visco that is there must be removed and now i'm planning to use kenacord uh to reduce any probable postoperative inflammation and before that the side ports are being closed corneal stroma is hydrated with bss and the side ports and get closed and now uh, kenacord diluted 
ONS24 is being uh, used. Just little bit of Kinacort is injected and then I'm going to wash it out. And now after washing out some particles will remain. You cannot remove all the particles. Some particles will remain and, and this will control the inflammation much much better. There's some air bubbles and uh, I want to give a thorough wash of the entire chamber because I think there are a lot of canacord particles remaining. So I take the irrigation cannula and give a thorough you know, irrigation of the anterior chamber. And the air bubbles also come out. And now this is moxifloxacin. Hydrating the side port with moxifloxacin and it some portion of the moxie goes into the anterior chamber and now the case is done. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to take up such cases.